Let's move it around a little. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Test Bore Smart Wet Dry Vacuum Cleaner. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this wet dry vac, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. This is a smart wet dry vacuum cleaner with voice prompts, and we also have one touch self cleaning. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents for our Test 4 R5 wet dry vacuum. First, we have our user guide and manual complete with everything we need to know about our wet dry vac. We also have our app user guide complete with the QR code walking us through full app setup for iOS and Android devices complete with screen grabs and screenshots. Next we have our power supply adapter right here. We have our base accessory holder. This just snaps right into that with an extra filter. We have the handle that we need to install. We have a nice cleaning brush, an extra roller, the base itself right here. Look at it from a couple different sides and angles. There's where we connect the included power supply. You can see it from the bottom. And lastly, we have the vacuum itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's a look at the unit up close. At the very top, we have our clean water tank that we can just pull to remove with the nice included handle that's built into the design. Bottom side, we can twist this off to refill with additional water. Just snaps right back in place. Also, you may notice at the top, we have our display right here. Pay attention to the pivot point on this unit. This is really neat. Look at the freedom and flexibility of movement we have fixed and pivots right here at the bottom with the brush roller and everything else. Here's a quick look from the side. We got their logo and branding. We have our battery right here with the green button for the accent. Dirty water tank front and center. We have a mute button right there. We have a green button to press to release for our dirty water tank. And then we can pull this out, dump and clean everything out like so. And then you can put it all back together. So let's put that right back in there. You may notice on this side, we do have a filter we can remove to wash and clean as needed. And then we just put everything right back in. And now we can easily just snap it right back in place. Let's flip it over to the other side. Looks very similar, has their logo and branding. Now let's look at the main brush roller. So logo and branding right there. We have the option to remove this cover to easily clean and remove and swap out the brush. Then this just lines right back up like so. Let's get it in on that side and this side. And then it just snaps right back in place. We'll look at it from the very back and bottom. So there it is. We have a nice seal and lip right here. Additional roller wheels, our two main wheels. And on the very back, you may notice we do have our battery that's removable. So it just slides right out. There's the battery pack, green buttons. There's the power connectors. And we should be able just to gently slide everything right back in place. So let's see if we can do that. There we go. Snaps right back in. Now let's go ahead, let's get this unit assembled. Assembly simple and straightforward. We just have to snap this handle in place. Pay attention to the shape of the handle right here. It's only gonna fit one way and it'll click and snap right in. Also on the handle, we have our two control buttons up top and we have our auto cleaning button right there. Nice little trigger. So we have it lined up and then watch, we just press it in. So just keep pushing, keep pushing. There we go, it's snapped right in place and we're ready to charge it up. So we have our unit charging up. We connected the power adapter to the back of the stand and we set the unit on the stand and we got a prompt letting us know it's charging and the display is now powered on. Now it's time to set up the mobile app. So we have the test for app downloaded on our mobile device. This is gonna be the main home screen you'll be at once you sign in or create an account. We need to add our device. It's scanning and it discovered it automatically for us so we can select the green add button. If yours isn't showing up there, just go ahead and select add manually, choose the correct item and proceed. So here it is, the test for R5, select. Now we need to enter our Wi-Fi information. So connect to your Wi-Fi network and select 
the next button. Now we're back at this screen where we have a little progress circle moving around to add our device. So there we go, everything was just set up. It takes less than a minute once you get to that screen to watch that circle go around. I'd say you maybe get to about quarter of the way through and it should do what it just did here. So we've successfully added the device. Let's go ahead, let's select done. Now we're being entered into the device. Here we go. Let's take a look at all the device settings within the app. First thing you'll notice is the top right hand corner. We have the pencil edit icon. We can select that where we can change the name of our wet dry vac. We can view device information. We also have our tap to run and automation. If we want to create any smart scenes, we can do that right here. Then we have our offline notification. We can enable or disable that if we want to be notified when it's disconnected. We can also share this device with friends or family. Next, we can create a group if we wanted to pair this with other smart devices. Maybe you got one of their RoboVacs as well. You can do that right there. FAQ, feedback, add to home screen, check our network settings, and update the device. At the very bottom in red, you could remove the device. Then from the main screen right here, we have our current battery percentage, 80%. It's charging. We have a water volume adjustment and a suction adjustment slider. Then we can choose the different mode options that we want. Auto mode, strong mode, suction mode, or self cleaning. We can turn the voice on or off and we can also choose to have sterilization on or off. Now let's go ahead, let's fill up the tanks and try this out. First up, it's time for the egg test right here. Let's move it around a little. We'll go over half of it. And the other half. You may notice too on the wet dry vac right here, we have our indicator letting us know it's really dirty right here. So that's in red current battery percentage, suction setting. We're also gonna to try to pick up the shells here. If you're gonna do something as messy as what we just did, it's best to, you're gonna to want to give it a minute to either, you know, really thoroughly clean the area or conduct a self clean right away to keep everything as clean as possible so you're not just spreading around the egg everywhere. Now let's say your pet maybe had an accident on the floor and you're looking to clean that up. No issues at all. Maybe date night didn't go as planned or your kid spilled a drink. No worries. Look at that. You can clean it right up in just one pass. Now we have some chocolate syrup on the floor and we'll do one pass in auto mode. And now here's strong mode. Cleaned everything up right away. Now we have some larger crumbs on the floor. Let's see how it does picking everything up. Couple of stragglers there, not bad though at all. So it did better than I thought it would with those large crumbs. The success of the large debris pickup is definitely attributed to the channel that we have right here, allowing those larger items to actually make it up and under the brush roller so it can vacuum them up in place. Once you finish your clean, put the wet dry vac back on the base and go ahead and conduct self cleaning. You can press a button within the app to activate self cleaning mode, or you can come up here and you can press the button on the handle. Start self cleaning. And it's gonna work on doing self cleaning. So first up, it's cleaning the roller brush right here. It'll cycle through a couple of different things to give you a nice clean and it's great that it does it all on its own. And then after it conducts the self cleaning, make sure that you refill the water tank as needed and don't forget to empty the dirty water tank. I can see some new water filling up in our dirty water tank as it's working on cleaning the brush. Also after every use, make sure you empty this tank because they do 
get a really rank smell regardless of the cleaner that you use. So you wanna make sure that you always empty the dirty water tank and let it air dry for a day before using it again. So it took around a minute for the self-cleaning to complete. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the results of our first clean. All right, here are the contents. Looks pretty gross as you'd expect considering everything that we vacuumed up. I really like this handle in here, this strainer, to be able to easily dump the thicker items and debris directly into a trash can and then just leave the rest of the liquid in there to dump down a sink drain. You won't have to worry about clogs, that sort of thing. So I like that, especially if you're vacuuming up maybe a lot of pet hair crumbs, things like this are a big mess. That's really convenient to have. The filter itself doesn't look bad at all yet. Looks really nice. There it is from the other side. So we got some egg and debris on there. So make sure when you're emptying this every time, you're cleaning everything properly and giving it enough time to dry. Here's a look at the brush roller after our first clean as well. I thought for sure we'd have some grape stains on here from the grape juice or having some more chocolate syrup mess, but it doesn't look bad. I can see a couple of streaks throughout, but not bad at all. I thought it'd be a lot dirtier. So after using the test bar R5, let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to this wet dry vac. First thing I want to say is out of all the wet dry vacs that I've reviewed, this is the first one I've encountered with a removable battery pack. I really like that feature in regards to long-term maintenance. And if you're able to get some extra battery packs, you could double, quadruple, etc. your battery life, depending on how many batteries you have. Cause as soon as one dies, you don't have to wait for the whole thing to charge. Just go ahead, put one of your other charge batteries in the unit and keep on using it. In regards to the smart app. This is not the first smart wet dry vac that I've reviewed and it has basically the same features. It's cool that with this particular one we can turn the UV light on or off. I like that we have that sterilization option that is unique. I haven't seen that on all the other wet dry vacs that I've reviewed. I'm not saying it's not out there just on the ones that I've had the experience using. With that being said, the mobile app is still more of a gimmick. I would never buy a wet dry vac solely based off the fact that it does or doesn't have a smart app. You're not unlocking any new features or anything like that. You still have the control buttons that you can use without the mobile phone and app. So at that point, it just doesn't really make sense to have, you know, one hand using, you know, the phone and the app, the other hand cleaning. So it's still more of a gimmick to me. But with that being said, it is nice that you still have the option to use the app if for some reason that's something you really like and prefer. Other than that, I'd like to see the app build out a cleaning history and keep track of some of those logs for you so you can view your data over time. I feel like that would be a nice feature to include in the future. And lastly, I want to point out, this might just be a pet peeve for me, but the handle on the back of this unit right here to remove the clean water tank is not very practical. And this tank is so tight in place, it's really hard to get out. In fact, I don't think I can ever really do it with just that. I feel like I'm gonna break the handle and it's hard to you know, remove. So I have found that it's best to just kind of use your fingers and push up from the sides and the back. But you can see right here, I still can't even get it out as I'm talking about it until I leverage the display up at the top. So it's a little bit goofy to me for the clean water tank. I'd like to see that improved from a design standpoint in the future, especially because it's so easy to remove the dirty water tank. I wish there was a better way to remove this one than how you either have to use the handle, which I've never had success doing, or basically prop it up off the side with your fingers on the display to remove the clean water tank.